Hey guys, so I'm here with the reviews of the latest three winter Homeworks candles that I was sent to to review. From Homeworks by Harry Slatkin, I have White Birch Christmas Lilies and Maple Rum Strudel. So I have burned through two of these, and then you'll see here right now the White Birch I have not completely burned through yet. I'm about the halfway point, a little more than halfway on the White Birch. So I'm probably going to... After this review, I'm going to put out the white birch and finish it during Christmas because it's really, really, really a Christmas scent that I just think would be perfect for Christmas time. So I'm going to put that away and finish it during Christmas. But I wanted to go ahead and do this, these reviews here for you, post burn reviews. So I will start with the white birch. This is right here. The scent notes read white birch, fir balsam, crisp winter air. And all these candles are 18 ounces and the burn time is 30 to 55 hours. So I ended up really actually enjoying this white birch candle. I was a little bit unsure about it in my first impressions video I did of this candle. It was a little bit different. It's not your typical balsam scent. There's a little bit more to it. It definitely has that white birch. It definitely has a little bit more of like a tree sap type of a smell and then I said in my haul it kind of has like a, a it's kind of a menthol-y type of tree sap type of smell it's it's a kind of a slightly astringent little uh, type of smell to it it's, it's a little bit different than like your typical fresh balsams to me and some of your other pine scents even though sometimes fresh balsam scents can be kind of astringent too as well but this has just they don't quite have that menthol-y note that this kind of had and I was a little bit unsure about it when I smelled on cold sniff. I liked it, but I didn't know if I really, really liked it a lot. But I actually did enjoy it when I was burning. It's not my favorite scent. It just, it definitely does have that tree sap. It's got the winter air. It's, it's really nice. But I do think I just, I kind of like a little bit more of the pine. Um, and just your regular balsam. I really, really liked Mary Mistletoe. And Frozen Balsam. I think I like those two just a little bit better than this one. So if I was to choose... One, I would probably, Mary Mistletoe, Mistletoe Magic would be my top. Did I say Mary Mistletoe? I always want to call that Mary Mistletoe. It's Mistletoe Magic is the one from Homeworks. That was my favorite. And then Frozen Balsam was second. And then this White Birch would probably be my third of the pine scent that I burned from Homeworks. I do like it though, but it's just a little bit, like I said, I think it's just that menthol -y type of tree sap, uh, slightly astringent kind of uh, note in there that's just... It's nice, but it's just my favorite of them all. If you don't quite like that uh, uh, menthol-y type of um, smell in your balsam type of Christmas tree type of scents, then that might be too much for you. But at the same time, it wasn't. This candle wasn't like really super. It had a nice throw, but it didn't choke you out by any means. So therefore, that menthol-y note wasn't like choking you out or anything. The throw was probably, I'd say, about. It was fairly strong on the first burn, probably more like a eight or so. And then after that, it probably got to like a seven, seven to seven and a half, a little bit like that. It, it was up to the eight, eight and a half on the first burn. After that, it kind of got a little bit uh, less intense, more like seven, seven and a half. So it was definitely present, but it didn't, you know, make you say, oh my gosh, this is just too much for me. It, it was nice scent. I did end up enjoying it. And the burn, I will show you. Since I have it burning right now, I will show you the burn here real quick. So you can see the burn here right now is perfect. It's perfect. It's, the flames are nice and high. They're dancing high. The wax pull is fine. It's doing really good. This is normally how homeworks burn really nice. This is how I like to have homeworks burn. This is, to me, exactly how they should burn because it's really getting that wax pull really nice and hot. And it's really throwing really well right now. I can smell it really well in my open concept area, kitchen, living room area here. It's throwing really, really well because those flames are really strong. But they're not too high. If they were just a little bit higher, they'd probably get to be a little bit too high because they would be... Smoke would start coming out the top of them. But right now at this point, there's not smoke coming off of them. But because they're forming little mushroom tops, if it goes just a little bit longer, it might start that way. I would have to blow them out and trim just a little bit of the mushroom top off. But right now, the burn is perfect. And it's been good all the way through. It, they did get slightly small 
probably I'd say right about to here or so on the burn this it wasn't really puny it just was a little bit smaller definitely wasn't as high as they are now but they were smaller and it was having trouble pulling out on this side and like the other side here even after being lit for like almost an hour and a half or so it still wasn't completely pulling out on the sides and it wasn't throwing quite quite as strong as it had before to me so I just wanted to help out a little bit to get it to melt completely around the sides faster and to get it to be stronger so I dipped a cotton I blew it out dipped the cotton ball in there absorbed some of the wax I relit it and those flames got higher melted down all the way around the sides and then it started throwing even stronger so and then after that it's been fine so far I haven't had to use a cotton ball the flames have been super high they've been forming slightly little mushroom tops on there nothing too crazy but just enough to where the flames are nice and steady the wax pulls melting all the way around and it's throwing really really well so yes that's white birch I did like that um, like I said it's probably my third favorite of the pine scents that I've had pine balsam scents that I've had of his but it's nice I did enjoy it so next let's talk about Christmas lilies next so Christmas lilies here I'll read you the scent notes I can tip this one over since it's not lit Casablanca lilies Ylang Ylang, Pink Pepper, and Bedver. So this one is another one I wasn't completely sure about. You can see here, it burned really good towards the end there. I'll talk about the burn in just a second here though. So this was a floral candle, but it wasn't super, like a, a super big white, um, like gardenia scent or anything like that. It had qualities of that, but it, it came off kind of like a Christmas scent somehow. And I don't quite know exactly how but it just kind of did. I mean, I could totally imagine like these Christmas lilies on like a table at like a Christmas dinner and you, and you would smell that. That's just kind of how it came off. For some reason, I don't know, was that ylang ylang or the pink pepper slightly in there that kind of made it a little different than like a summer type of floral, but I could just imagine it. Like, you know, sitting there next to some poinsettias and you got the Christmas lilies on the table and it just it just felt like it was fitting. It could be fitting for for Christmas time because it wasn't super it didn't have like a super strong summer floral type of scent. It was just a little maybe just a little more subtle, I guess maybe. I'm not for sure. And then it maybe that's how I would describe it. But it was definitely a floral, not too much more else. The it's slightly a bit of pink pepper, but it wasn't like as peppery as, say, climbing clematis. Climbing clematis was more uh, peppery, smelled a little more like tomato vine. This one wasn't like that, it, but it was just had a little bit of like a pepperiness to it. And then that ylang ylang, and then it definitely had a green note to it as well as a floral note. Um, it was pretty nice. I did end up really enjoying this, and I thought maybe I would when I burned it, and that actually happened. That happens to me a lot with homeworks. If I... I'm unsure about them on cold sniff. Sometimes I actually end up liking them when I when I end up burning them. So the burn on this one, like I showed you earlier, it ended up burning fine towards the end. These, um, I think they might have, if I remember correctly, this one I burned, I finished it like a few weeks back. It did get a little bit uh, smaller flames towards the mid-range, but nothing too bad. It pulled out fine. It was throwing fine. I never did cotton ball this one. And then um, I think it just... A little bit got it wasn't puny like I said just a little bit of a smaller flame you know smaller than the white birch is now but I just left it there and then it just it ended up the flames ended up getting higher towards the last part and I had no problems with the burn it ended up extinguishing itself fine and had no problems with it except for just a little bit of smaller flames there in the mid part and the throw on that one was Christmas lilies through about it was about a medium throw I'd say probably about a seven to seven and a half on average it was it was nice I could smell it really good it wasn't too strong but it was definitely not light. It was it was a nice medium throw all the way up to the very end of it. So yeah, um, I enjoyed that one as well. If um, if you don't like florals, you may not like that one because it's definitely a floral scent, but, but I enjoyed it, it was nice. And then lastly we have, this was my favorite, maple rum strudel. And it has a nice packaging with the maple rum strudel, the strudel dessert there. This one reads drizzled maple, brown sugar, candy pecans, and dark rum. So yes, you get you get all that. I definitely got maple, but it wasn't like too much maple. I know a lot of people get afraid of that. It wasn't like overwhelmingly, sickeningly sugary maple too much. 
it just that a little bit of that in there. It definitely had brown sugar. I did get a little bit of pecan note, um, and I did get a little bit of the boozy uh, rum, but it, it's not super boozy, just a little bit of that in there. It was so delicious. It reminded me, it's very gourmand, very, um, it, it was fall-like to me, though. This one here was almost a little bit more fall to winter. I know I'd heard some, a lot of people, strudel is very popular during the winter time, during Christmas and things. So, I mean, this could be for either, really, fall or winter. I mean, even all year round, actually, but it did have kind of a fall vibe to it. It also kind of reminded me, if you've ever had Goose Creek Candle Companies, I believe it is Pumpkin... To Toasty Pumpkin Toddy, I believe it was. And they had a couple other pumpkin ones that were very similar to that. Um, they had like the pumpkin jars. I believe they're back this year. They're shaped, the jars are shaped like pumpkins. That set of pumpkins, this kind of reminded me of that. It had kind of that, uh, it could almost come off like that. It had even had a little bit of like a slightly molassy type of, of feel to it. And even a very warm bakery molassy type of scent. Um, slightly boozy, you know, because it, pumpkin toasty pumpkin toddy could have like a little bit of a boozy note to it that's kind of like this one had there was no pumpkin in this one at all though but it was kind of in that kind of a vein it reminded me of that a little bit even on cold sniff reminds me kind of like that but yeah it was very nice very um if you're a bakery lover and you like a little bit of maple and all that kind of delicious stuff i think you'd really like this one this one was i loved this one uh the burn on this one it burned all the way down there. Just a little bit of wax left in there. Somebody mentioned too that on the three wicks, the th three wicks would burn all the way down, completely down, and there was any wax left. And you could almost see the little, the little metal ring underneath the wick. You could see that at the end of the candle when it extinguished itself. But these new four wicks, they're not burning quite down that far. As you can see, there's still a little layer of wax there. It's not a thick, thick layer of wax, but it's a little bit thicker than it was with the three wicks. Sorry, the dogs are dog and cat are playing. They get a little rough with each other. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, the new four wicks that don't seem like they're burning quite down as far as the three wicks for some reason. This one here did get a little bit of small flames. I cotton balled it a few times because it was uh, pretty small flames. And then I just, I like I said, if they're smaller, in my experience, if I cotton ball it, get those flames up, it gets hotter and it throws even better. This one was throwing well. But when I cotton balled it and got those flames even higher than what they were, it threw way better than it was before. So it's not like it wasn't thrown at all, but it just, it just, I want to get my maximum capacity of scent thrown because I love strong scent. So the stronger the better. So if I cotton ball it and it's going to make it throw even stronger because it gets even hotter with the little, with the flame bigger, then I will probably do it. But I, I don't think, I definitely cotton balled it more than Christmas lilies. White birch, like I said, I did once. This one, I think I cotton balled the most. But after, towards the last part, I do it in the middle, kind of the middle part is when I started. Then towards the end, it burned fine, and then it finished out pretty good. Just left that little bit of a thin layer in there, and wax in the bottom. You could actually probably put this in the freezer and pop that little layer of wax out and throw it into a, a wax melt warmer, maybe. Since that scent was so good, I might try to do that because I love that scent. So yeah, that is my review of... Maple Rum Strudel, White Birch, and Christmas Lilies from Homework's 2018 Winter Collection. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all in our next video. Bye.